All right, everybody. Hey, my fam, my midnight, my midnight crew. Hey, it might be early morning where you live. Praise God. If it's early morning where you live, it is the 29th of October. Hey, man. And we still have eight hours of the 28th of October in the USA, in the USA territories, all the way out to Baker Island. We praise God. God just as of late, brought up that 28 number to us, you know, we understood that there was a, uh, the calibrated calendar, which is the Jewish calendar made right on the proper date, starting with the full moon and not the sliver of the moon. And so we got that figured out. Sean did, and we said amen to it. And then he found the 360 calendar, the prophetic calendar that's all the way through the Bible, Daniel. And we have John in Revelation getting the day counts of the 360 calendar. And so that's wonderful. That was exciting. And then there was another 360 calendar, one that begins at the birth of Jesus Christ and one that ends at the crucifixion, the death of Jesus Christ. And so that's exciting. And that's the one we're working now. It points right to uh, today, the 28th, 29th. And it's still the 28th out there in California where Cush is. Abba, up. Carlos, you're out there in California, 10 o'clock out there. And it's still the 28th out there, praise the Lord. And what's exciting about today's uh, time frame and also uh, next week here in the USA is it's going to get darker an hour faster. So with the sunsets being at 6 p.m., it'll be dark by 7 on the East Coast, uh, West Coast, I mean, out there where uh, Cush is, okay? And then it will be at 6 p.m. and... What does that mean? That means dark gets here quicker and it can happen any time during that time frame. Okay. We do believe it'll be at the midnight hour, but it doesn't have to be. It's going to be dark. We know that. That's the word God has given us. Brother Irwin. He says, amen, man. All the way from South Africa. Now, we praise God for you guys, your faithfulness. What a blessing. All of y'all. Heather's here putting up these links. She and Cush really help make this thing flow, man. And I, I praise God for that. And pray for Johnny boy, she says. And I do appreciate that, guys. Pray for Sean. He was really needing our prayers this morning. I hope you pray for him fervently every day. Okay, I hope you understand who he is and who God is to him, who he is to God. And you reverence that, you respect that, man. And you pray for him. Pray for him, pray for him, pray for him, support him. Amen. Don't be like all those other quitters and flakes, everybody who gives up. God has no room for that. Amen. So I praise God for your being here and your faithfulness every night. That's amazing. That's cool. And uh, it's good to be here with you. Looking over these rapture codes. That's what we did last time we met together. You know, as in last night. And uh, let's see here. Please like and share these Bible studies. Amen. Brother Jonathan, he says, morning, pastor. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you, bro. Praise God. Glad you're here with us. He's on the one o'clock hour out there where he is. And Heather is too. Robert, here. he's central time with me. Hey, buddy. Alicia, central time from central Texas. Amen. Praise the Lord, guys. We're looking for a rapture. This 28th is a powerful day. If not, but anything else, it has marked for sure the 360 calendar, the prophetic calendar from the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is vital. Why? Because Daniel's was put on pause at that time, guys. Same 360 calendar put on pause at that time. And then a new, the same clock, 360, kept going, but it started at zero with a brand new start. Brand new, fresh start, guys. Praise the Lord. That cross changed everything. That's why we get saved differently now than they did before the cross. That's why God sent Paul along. And he was merciful and let the inertia of the old covenant, the old way, continue on with the 12 apostles speaking to Israel. And they were speaking words that were speaking to Israel in the future. When you read Peter and you read Jude and you read uh, uh, James and those, it's really emphasizing the time during the tribulation. Read the book of Job, tribulation. Read the books of the prophets, tribulation. And they're good for us now. We're at the transition time as the 12 apostles were 
in the first century from the Feast of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit come down all the way through Paul. And then we have Peter saying, hey guys, Paul's writings may sound just super out there, astronomically just wow, but know that they're good writings. What he's saying is true, and you got to understand what he's writing. Amen? And so that's where we are. We find ourselves here. We're coming at the end of the church age, and then Sean and the other guy, the uh, 144,000, are going to bring in the new period, the new time frame, the new count, these 1,260 days that Sean's a part of, and then the next 1,260 days, and then the next 75 days, all right? And then the millennium begins. So we are on that clock. It's important to know about that clock. Josh says, hey, fam, he's at that one o'clock hour too. Amen, Heather, amen. All right, hey, why don't we look at some of these rapture codes, man? Because we just might be getting raptured tonight. I got no reason why I wouldn't understand that. Uh, the Yankees went up three games to, uh, I'm sorry, the Dodgers went up three to nothing over the Yankees. So they're all still in New York City right now. <clears throat> the Steelers beat the Giants. 18 to 26. You know, Sean and God, Sean and Yohei Vave, 18. It could also be the 66618. Barack Obama versus God. We're coming right there, right? New York City, 666 and God. That's what we're talking about now. That's why we're awake right now. That's why we're discussing these things. Because the Lord could rapture us at any moment. It's dark all the way across the United States, pretty much. Not the United States territories, but the United States. Amen? Uh, the lower 48. And so, well, why don't we look at these codes, man? Let's talk about some rapture. Anybody got a rapture comment? Amen? Amen. Glory to God. We're gonna, it's uh, 279, right, Heather? 279, the Feast of Weeks. I think that's where we're starting. Blessings, beloved. God bless you, Kim. We do love y'all. Thankful, thankful that we're all part of the family of God, the bride of Christ, one single, one new man in Jesus Christ. The fourth candle. He's called us to himself. She's got it right here, guys. We're going through the book, and the, we're in the rapture, rapture section, and it's page 279 is where we're starting tonight. The Feast of Weeks, the gospel. That's the good news, isn't it? The Feast of Weeks. That's right now. 50-day count, guys. The Jubilee. And then now this calendar also at the same time simultaneously begins the great count as well. It ends the week count today. And it begins the great count. And so this is it for the week. This is it. It is done over and out. Roger Wilco for this season, for this Shavuot season. There's no more wheat. Now what do we got? Grapes, olives, and wood. And nowhere are we on the wood calendar yet. So we're right in the middle of grapes and olives, guys. Grapes and olives. Grapes and olives on all three of these calendars. Know where we are. It's important. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing. All right. Look at this code here, man. The translation is the Feast of Weeks, the Gospel. I mean, is that some good news or what? Pre-trib rapture at the Feast of Weeks? Alicia says, yeah, I have a question. Where will the 144,000 come from? Are they raptured or will they be left behind and quickly converted? Probably left behind and quickly converted. That's what we think. We think that that event that takes place the night of the rapture will wake a bunch of folks up. Maybe the Lord has come to them in dreams. And they've seen visions. That's how God works, right? Uh, your uh, old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. That's talking about the tribulation, guys. That's talking about the tribulation. God's going to be speaking to these people that way again. And they'll probably get a word from the Lord somehow. And boom, they'll be snapped to right away. And they'll find Sean. And it's going to be God himself who marks them. They may not know each other. They may not, just like... Elijah, not knowing about the other 7,000, they just might be marked all over the world. You might have a bunch in Indonesia, Africa, Iceland, all across Europe, Asia. I don't know the story. And some, some have suggested that maybe it's aborted babies who never got to complete or even start their missions here. And God has 144,000 of them assigned to come back here and do their thing. But... Uh, the last I had in conversation with Sean about this, it seems like they're just going to be living on earth and they're going to be ministering to their people, but they're a special chosen generation, marked of God. 
untouchable. Amen? All right. Great question. I hope that answers it. But we think they're from the Left Behind Bunch. God knows exactly which 12,000 from each tribe will be marked. Exciting. The Feast of Weeks, the Gospel. The foundation for the menorah, that's that fourth stand, right? The foundation is the main lamp stand. You got the base, you got the main lamp stand coming up, and from that main lamp stand, you got three sides protruding out each, each side of the shaft, the main shaft, that stand. The foundation for the menorah is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 144,000 male virgin Jews. Yep, that's them. Never having been with women. Th that's why the description of aborted babies fits perfectly. And so does the description for conservative Jews. Conservative Jews preach heavy against premarital sex and being filthy and being part of the world and, and being part of the system, the Babylon system. Dude, I'm telling you, they are so close. All they need is Jesus. All they need to do is see that Jesus is in every verse of the Bible of just the Torah. Genesis, Deuteronomy, and they will be saved and be like Paul, on fire for God. And that's what these 144,000 are going to be doing. Amen. That's it. 144,000 male virgin Jews. And so the menorah is Jesus, guys. He's, he is the light, the light of the world, the lampstand, the light. And remember, when we see him in Revelation, he's right in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. He's standing right in the middle, and the middle is this fourth one. All everyone needs is Jesus. That's it. They just need Jesus. If they could just figure that out, if Christians could figure it out, the saved ones, I need Jesus. I don't, I don't need muffins. I don't need pills. I don't need comfort food. I don't need, you know, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, fish in my hobby, uh, you know, romance books, soap, pops, music. I don't need nothing but Jesus. And as soon as you recognize that, dude, peace comes. Oh, my goodness, peace comes. And uh, I've, I've never known peace like the moment God got a hold of me, convicted me, slapped me upside the head, and said, you're living like a devil, bud. But I'm not living like a devil. I'm preaching your word. I never said that. But that would seem like the way I was living, I had said that. And But the Lord showed me that chemtrail that day and said, dude, there's a, everything you know you don't know. You need to know. And he began to teach me. And boy, that'll humble a feller, humble a feller. And I praise God for that humbling. God is awesome. All right, man. 444. That's our Lord. That's this book. That's God's goodness. Sean, 444. Hope, his day is illuminated for us. The day of Jesus, Yeshua, is the rapture, guys. And it's illuminated for us. So we know that it is in Pentecost. And this year, if it doesn't happen in the next seven hours, we know it is at least in the grape. See, guys, when that wood harvest gets here, when we get into the wood there in November, we'll be celebrating counting all three of these remaining feasts. Grapes is over in like 13 days, right? Um, on the birth count, the one Yolanda's doing. Yolanda, how many days are you here? I saw your hubby. How many days? Anybody who, who's got her her um, link from today or yesterday, how many days do we have left on that great count? Amen? All right. Uh, so that day's going to be illuminated for us. We're going to know it, man. And, and I think if you guys just go over these Bible codes. If you'll just go over these Bible codes and read them and look at the numbers, the Lord might have something stand out to you. They're just mind-boggling. And please share that with the rest of us, will you? Amen. All right. The code 444. His day will be sealed until it's not. His day's been a secret. The day of Jesus Christ, the rapture, has been a secret. His day will be sealed. The rock contains the fire. Jesus is the rock that rolls our blues away. Amen? Remember that old song from Junior High Christian Church? His day will be sealed. The rock contains the fire. The rock of the Lord. The rock contains the truth. Jesus contains the mystery. He, he knows what day he's coming for us. Remember I told you about that guy quitting today? 
the, the Lord lied to him, so he just quit. And he says, so I spoke in tongues. I'm like, okay, I know who's been lying to you the whole time. Satan's been lying to you the whole time. You know what he said also in that little five-minute video of his, I quit? Satan has delayed the uh, rapture. Okay, all these Pentecostals. Okay, okay, cool. Thanks, Yolanda. God bless you, sister. Um, can somebody check for her? Can somebody look at her post that she made, the day count? And see how many days we have left. It'll say something of 50, like 38, 39 of 50. That'll let us know how many days are left on that great count from the first 360 count from the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen. So here we got the God knows everything. God knows the contents of this book. He's had it sealed and he's letting us know what he's had sealed slowly by slowly. 30 of 50. So 20. Yeah. 20 days left. 30 of 50 is 20 days left in that count. Okay. All right. So read that again and we'll move on. The Feast of Weeks, that Shavuot counting all these weeks that we count. And they all land on a Monday. Each the, the week count started on a Monday. Week one, week two, week three, week four. And from today, supposing it's Monday where you are, 20. Praise God. Uh, supposing that's where we are. And you're, you're still in your Monday. We have 16 weeks left total for all the calendars, for all the calendars. You got seven, seven, that's 14, and one, 15, 15 weeks. Tammuz 11 is the time. Wow. Moving right along, huh? And what is it on, on uh, this calendar that we're doing, this 360? Brother Adrian's got that going. He just started the day count again, ended with the wheat. He's beginning with the grapes, and it's Savan something. Savan something. Savan is always the Feast of Pentecost. Barley, or, or wheat, from barley to the wheat, is always Savan. That's when Moses went up the hill, Savan 6, and got the word from the Lord, and we had it for the first time. The bread of heaven given to us on the mountain, and here's Sean, Great-great-grandson giving us bread from heaven every day. Praise God. Amen. So, it's the gospel. It's the good news. The foundation of the menorah is Jesus himself. 444, hope. His day is illuminated for us. Now, his day is the, the fourth candle, which is Pentecost. His day is Pentecost. The time of Jesus Christ is Pentecost. From the time he died and rose again until now has been Pentecost and will be pretty much through the millennium, okay? Because it's going to be the reign of Jesus Christ, then the Father gets it all back. But that'll be the time of tabernacles. Millennium is the time of tabernacles where God himself tabernacles among us. He comes and joins us out here where we are. Aaron says today is 2950 of grapes and 78 of 53. And her, her new update where she is and where we are now is the 29th so is, is that the 30th of 50 on the 29th of October? And you guys know today, yesterday, and today, 828, Romans 828. And we know that all things work together for good to those that love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. 828, today's October 8th, oct 8 and 28, 829. Good, good stuff, good numbers. 38 today, praise God. Savan 8, you guys? All these wonderful dates, it's good to know. I'd love to see them on a Gregorian calendar. Boom, say October at the top, November now, November. And then we know what the date will be. It'll say one, two, three, four, five. And then start with a Monday. Okay, just kidding. And uh, then ha have our dates in there in order. Savan would be uh, the latest one. You know, we got... Elul, Tammuz, Savan. Praise God. That's the dates we're in. That would be needy, needy, needy. Thank you all. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Aaron. Praise God. Yeah, the 29th is 3050. Praise God. And that's where we are, guys. I'm in the 29th where I live. Half of the United States is the 29th. Right now, half is the 28th. We're at a wonderful time here. We're at a wonderful time. Praising God. Amen. Love the conversation. Let's look at the next one. Page, 
Uh, I guess that's going to be 281. Did I skip one? No, yeah, 281. Let's go to 281. This is the truth for them is the light he brought. 281, she's got it right there. The truth for them, that's you and me, and that's for the people in the tribulation. The truth for them is the light he brought. Here's what it says. The spirit of Jehovah and the truth for them is the light he brought. The feast of weeks, the gospel of Yeshua from faith is hope. You're going to not have hope. You're going to wish and you're going to cry and you're going to, oh, the rapture didn't happen last 50 day count. Oh, but faith, knowing it's going to happen, knowing that God has unsealed it, Jesus Christ has unsealed that which had been sealed. The rock knows and he's revealed it to all of us. All right. And then we got the fake rock. Smell what the rock's got cooking. Can you smell it? You know, and we always have these imposters come in, these antichrist figures blocking up God's perfection, his 444. And they're trying to get everybody sidetracked and dissuaded. And don't you do that. You have the faith and that'll bring you hope. Believe, believe God's word. Believe his messengers who are presenting that word and have hope, dude, have hope. From faith is hope. So what does that say? The spirit of the Lord and the truth for them is the light he brought. The feast of weeks, that's right now. Today is the... Celebration of the 50-day count jubilee of the Feast of Weeks for the wheat. Shavuot, the gospel of Jesus from faith is hope. That's where your hope comes from. You better believe everything he said in the plain text and the coded text. Amen. Let's see what verses are there. We see a Jeremiah 30, 24. He has performed the purpose of his heart in the days ye shall consider it. So, today is day 30, leaving us with 20 days left. That's a marker for today, right? Right? What y uh, Yolanda told us? And we, we see this 30 right here, Jeremiah, which is the 24th book. So, we got 24, 30, 24. Has God given us a time frame here? It's lit up. He said it's right here in front of our eyeballs. So we consider, we note, and we move on and have faith. Faith, faith, faith. That's where our hope comes from. Aaron says, page 281, today's date was 28th, and today, 10 months, amen. 128, that's it. That's it, guys. That's And it's a double whammy. We got the 128, and now we're talking about 24, 30, 24. What? Sounds like a pregnant woman to me. Kind of bigger there in the middle. This baby's about to be born, man. Amen. Glory to God. And guys, when you spend time looking at those numbers, it's incredible down there. Spend time doing this. What else are you going to do? Watch TV? Play solitaire? What kind of crap is that, dude? What kind of waste of God's wonderful stewardship is that? Hey, don't waste the stewardship. Why don't you grow? Why don't you find joy under your soul and keep looking at this stuff? Amen. Praise God. I love that note. Thank you very much, Aaron. So 281 is 128. You know how they do it in Europe and everywhere else, 28 comma 10. All right, 28 slash 10. The window's getting smaller every day. It's just another day closer to seeing Jesus. Amen. And I, I love meeting here with you guys like this. So it's incredible. Okay, that looked like the only verse there. But man, guys, you, you see, just look at the table. You got your solid uh, skips going all the way through. Then you have a row skip in there too. I love it. And several phrases in that row skip, guys. The same row. They skip it. There's a, a character and a line, a character and a line, and you got some red and you, or pink and you got some blue. Goodness gracious, man. God's awesome. All the stuff that he gives to us. Hey, let's look at the next one. Page 282, 282, the last Trump. I hope we've seen the last of Trump, don't you? Wouldn't it be cool to get out of here? These guys are such, everything is a ritual, guys. That whole Madison Square Garden was a ritual, 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 even with bringing Hulk Hogan 
the co-star. Because he's an actor, and so's Donald. And they belong to the same fraternity. They belong to the same company. WWE. E stands for entertainment. And that's what they're here for. Entertainment. Heather's got that link up here. Let's see what that says. The last Trump. Let's see what that skip is. 28. That's today's date, isn't it? What? Negative 28, 5, 6, 2, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Okay. See that 28? I love it. I love it. The last Trump. Here we go. Let's see what that says. The skip is 28,562. 28,562. Translation. The last Trump. When you hear the sound of the trumpet. The last Trump's when you hear the sound of the trumpet. We're about to hear that sound. Get your, uh, get your ears on there, rubber duck. Turn your ears on. He fulfilled the flame. Jesus Christ himself fulfilled the fourth flame on the feast. The, today's on the feast. This is on the feast, on the 50, on the Jubilee. That, that's why this is important. And this is the last one. This is the last first 50 of them all. Big day here today. I'm looking. Look to the east, man. Here he comes. Here he comes. When you hear the sound of the trumpet, he fulfilled the flame on the feast, Feast of Pentecost. His mark for us is splendor. The day he marked for us to be raptured is a glorious, going to be just splendorous. It's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be incredible. Everything will have been worth it. And the very moment of his arrival, his perfect timing to come get us, it will have been the most perfect and we couldn't have asked for a better date. I would like it to be today. Come on, Lord. I can rejoice. I can get into some rejoicing today. I'm rejoicing now because why? We have the unsealed word. We have 543 of these jewels that nobody else had three years ago. We got them. We saw them. The Lord gave us the heart to believe. And by believing in these tables, believing in these codes, we have joy. We have rejoicing. We, we have a time of hope. Man, blessed hope. Come on, Lord. While the rest of the world's thinking, what? And while the rest of the world's being distracted, Yankees, Yankees, Yankees. When you hear that sound of the trumpet, he fulfilled the flame in her on the feast. His mark for us is splendor. The rapture day is glorious, man. The power of my lamp. This is God talking, capital M. My lamp candle was taught to the watchman. Sean has learned the power of God. That's what we should all be growing into, that I might know him. The power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, and not every Christian has come there. Paul, our disciple, told us to pray that and to seek that and to chase that, desire that. Uh, God tells us, hey, Sean's, he's accomplished that. My lamp candle was taught to the watchman. He understands the feast. He understands the menorah. He understands the knop and the flower, the knop and the flower, the knop and the flower. He understands completion. He understands that which has not been completed yet, waiting to be fulfilled. He knows my candle was taught. Who, who taught him? The Holy Spirit's the great teacher. God taught him this stuff. That's why we rejoice in these tables. This is God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on. We're so blessed. Our Abba loves us seeking him so much. I say amen to that one. The words of the book of Sean Mitchell are fire. Amen. Amen. They're fire. He spelled fire. Everything he spelled out here is God's word. God's word is fire. The Holy Spirit is fire. Remember on the day of Pentecost, the tongues of fire came down? And it was proven itself in words. They were speaking languages they never had spoken before just so those languages can go back to their hometown and preach the gospel. 3,000 souls were added to the church that day. Sean Mitchell, his book, the words of his book are fire. He spelled fire. It verifies the time of my feast. Jesus' feast is the Feast of Weeks, Shavuot, Pentecost, that fourth flame. 
That's when God gives him all the power. Before he was humbled and he came here to get killed, slapped around, bruised up, battered, ripped apart. Never again. And because he did that, God hath highly exalted him and gave him a name above every name. And now it's his time. The last 2,000 years has been the time of Jesus Christ. The day of Jesus Christ is when everybody within the time of Jesus Christ placed their faith in him alone. Death, burial, resurrection, paid in full. They're all going to be resurrected, the dead and the alive, on the day of Jesus Christ. And Sean's book, these codes verify, verify the time of Jesus' rapture, of his feast. Let's see what Bible verses are here, man. Bam. Here we go. Isaiah 26, 23, 26, 20, 21. So we got 21, 20, 21, 23, and 26 right here in this verse. Come, my people, enter into your chambers. Who's ready for that? Come, my That sounds like a command to me. So when he commands it, I'm like, okay, yes, sir. Let's go. Come up hither. That's what he says. And this is the long version of come up hither. Come, my people, enter into the chambers, shut the doors behind you, hide yourself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants the same day he calls us up. The inhabitants of the earth, man, for their iniquity, the earth also shall dis disclose her blood and shall no more cover the slain. Starting with Abel. Cain tried to cover that mess up and... God said, we're going to uncover that and the rest of it. And God's going to kill all the wicked because of the innocents that were killed. He's going to bring it out on them. Second Chronicles, that's, that's the 14th book of the Bible. 18, that's Sean's number. 24, that's this year. A rapture with Sean this year. Does that sound good to anybody? It does to me. Thou shalt see on the day when you go to hide yourself in the inner chamber. Remember us talking about that Sunday, two weeks ago? Micaiah told the fake preacher that. Oh, you'll know which way the Spirit of God went from me. The day you go to hide yourself in the bathroom, God kills you on the toilet. You'll, you'll know. And what does this say? Uh, 2 Chronicles 18, 24. 14, 18, 24. And that 18 can also be a 9. Judgment, that always points to Sean too. 18 points to him, 9 points to him. All on the same day, man. We're going to see Jesus hugging him on that, on that day. You ready? I, I like the signs of God. Oh, we're all here. There's a billion of us here. Uh, where, how do we know where Sean is in the middle? Oh, he's the one hugging Jesus. He's the one Jesus has got in a bear hug, a love lock. Bam! Got him fastened, man. We're going to praise God. Wouldn't that be a wonderful day for all of us, man? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake and bake, Jesus. Amen. Amen. The first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring to the house of the Lord thy God. That's us. It was supposed to have been Israel, but they rebelled. So now they, the first, have become last. The first fruits have become the last fruits. And you and I, who were never considered, are now the first fruits. Bring them into the storehouse. Let's get raptured. What do you say? And, uh, you know, wheat is that. Barley is first fruits. The wheat is first fruits. You bring all your first fruits from all your crops down to the Lord to feed the Levites. It points right to Sean again. Amen. And then the ones he's going to disciple when he gets back. All right. Let's look at the next page. 283. 283. I love this. I, I love this, guys. God bless y'all. Who's ready for a rapture? Me. Okay. Me. Mimi. Mimi's ready. When will we be caught up? That's a good question to ask. It's a great one to have answered. Amen. 28th mountain time, still 1126. Praise God. Praise God, dude. Hallelujah. And she's got that page up here, 283. Translation. When will we be caught up blameless to our king? Before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Great and terrible day of the Lord starts the day of the rapture. And the ultimate great and terrible day of the Lord, single day, is when he comes back and he finishes up everything. All the stuff that had been left over here, a little splot over there, that massive army at Megiddo, Psalm 83, Ezekiel 38, Revelation, the Arm Armageddon. He takes all that out, finishes up everything. I'm going to love that day. 
I love this day. Uh, Jonathan's all about sign me up, he says. Sign me up. Me, 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 me. Okay, you're signed up, dude. Praise God. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord come, multitudes of people. It's going to be multitudes of us, guys. Praise the Lord. I can't wait to be there with you. It's going to be the most glorious beginning of eternity there ever was. Amen. And what's so great about it, we're all going to be blameless for our king. Now we are. We're righteous. Everybody who's saved is blameless, dude. Quit blaming yourself. Quit allowing the devil to blame you. Quit allowing your past to blame you. We're blameless. Live in that. But that day we're raptured, we'll never remember anything but blamelessness. Glory to God. Our, our minds won't mess with us. People won't mess with us. The devil won't mess with us. We get to mess with him. We get to laugh at him in hell for eternity. Glory to God. And somehow, I believe God's going to let him see us doing that. <laughs> nanny, nanny, boo, boo, you freaking idiot. I'm going to love that. So multitudes of people. So where was the time of his command? Joy marked his time. Harvest time is joyful, guys. It's a time of rejoicing. When you read the book of Ruth, man, they brought the harvest in. They were satisfied. They were happy with the, the work of the day. It didn't rain. They were able to harvest. They're there at the uh, harvest area, man, at the slab. And they're like, dude, this is awesome. They were eating. They were drinking. They were merry. It's time for sleep, man, around a fire. And joy. Harvest. Be joyful, guys. Walk with the Lord. Think of the Lord. Shut everything that's going to make you a crazy retard, a crazy idiot, a banshee, crazy as a... Shut all that stuff out. Why don't you let the Lord cast out the devils? Now, we as Christians can't be demon-possessed, but you kind of act like it when you listen to your... You, when everything that comes inside of you is from hell. And that's why you act like hell. That's why there's two sides about you. That's why you're a two-faced. That's why you can't stand yourself. And the more you grow in grace, Paul said, you know, the things I don't want to do, I do. The things I do want to do, I don't. The more you grow in grace, the less that becomes. It's a true, it's a true deal. We'll still fall off the wagon. We'll still make mistakes. But the intervals will be far, far, far greater distance between each other. And that's a beautiful thing. I want that for you. Get the devil out of your head. Quit acting like you're demon-possessed. Because you're... The, it's oppression, guys. It's oppression, and it makes you nutty. It makes you a nutbag, a nutcase, okay? And why don't you quit that? Quit doing that to your family. Quit doing that to yourself. And just, when the devil came out, he was in his mind, one mind. Ah. Ah. Get the devils out and come come to peace, man, okay? Get them out of your house. Get them out of your home. Get Burn your Christmas tree to the ground. All this Halloween crap have nothing to do with the ways of the devil, and you won't be such a nutcase. Who is like this? Joy, mark the time. Who is like this? A feast is the day. Today's the feast. It's called the Feast of Weeks. A bride from Sinai. That happened on Shavuot, when the people married God and they became his wife. They made covenant with him. Shavuot people, no other time. A bride from Sinai and a burnt mountain. Where's that? Sinai? Makla? Still burnt up the top. That's where Sean's going to be going physically. He's been going there spiritually for 10 years with the Lord, meeting up with the Lord. Praise God for the Holy Spirit. We can do that now. All of us can. Amen? But not everybody can do it physically. And here soon, Sean in greatest of health, the healthiest body is going to be able to go up there and traverse that mountain up and down. A bride from Sinai and a burnt mountain. It is Jehovah. His mystery is in them. Now the record is everlasting. What record? That we know. Those of us who choose to be faithful and want to know God's heart and want to know his ways and have come to believe and embrace the Bible code, the, the word of the rock. We know that the rapture's feast of Pentecost and all these other idiots are just talking this stuff. This guy's mad at God for God told him a lie. God didn't tell you that lie. God doesn't lie. He's not a man that he should ever lie. You've been listening to the devil. Quit listening to the devil and start listening to these Bible codes. Find some hope. Find some joy. Find time of rejoicing. Now the record is everlasting. Let's read that again. 
When will we be caught up blameless to our king? Bef before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Multitudes of people. Where was the time of his command? Joy marked his time. Who is like this? A feast is the day. A bride from Sinai and a burnt mountain. It is Jehovah. His mystery is in them. We know it. We know his mystery. It's not a mystery to us. It's in us. Now the record's everlasting. Praise God. Shavuot rapture. Today is the last Shavuot first 50 day count. This is a big time. Uh, let's see the verses here, man. What are the verses? To the chief musician. That's God. He's the chief musician of them all. Satan wants to believe it's him. And the whole world thinks it's him. We know better. It's a psalm for the sons of Korah. Not Korah. He's in hell. The sons of Korah who believed when their father didn't. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Psalm 19, 47. Sean's age? One. And God's there too. 19's faith. You got faith? You got faith in these codes? You got faith in God? You got faith in God and God's man? One in the 47? Have some faith, man. And what does that lead to? Clapping your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. I know lots of Christians that are still living in the curse, demon oppressed. Oh, oh man, yeah, it's the worst. A, a Christian living in the flesh is worse than a wicked sinner living in the flesh. It's far worse. Hey, David says, good evening, man. Got done listening to this evening's study. But I am so happy to hear we're getting together tonight. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Glad to have you with us, man. All right, any of those numbers click out? I see that 11 there. 113. Can somebody look up 113 for me? I can't remember what that is. And 75. 11, 375. That's cool. What is that? 12, 15. That's Sean. 555 five, five is Sean. 15, when you see a 15, that's 5 plus 5 plus 5. That's Sean. And 11 is Sean. And what's the first question? Uh, when will we be caught up? What is the total there? 5, 10, 17. Victory. Total's victory. When will we be caught up? That'll be the day of victory, won't it? God's numbers, man. His, his numbers don't lie. Men lie. God's numbers tell the truth. All right. So that was to the chief musician, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. 1947 and 1. Faith in God's man because of God. All right. 284, 285, 285, this is the appointed time of the rapture, of the snatching away. I already know, it's been unsealed. It's no longer a mystery in us, but the mystery is in us. We have the answers of that mystery inside of us. Amen, glory to God. Hey, there's Adrian. Yeah, 113, snatched away the saints, dude. Okay, did you just hear him? Let's go back there and ask that question and see what that skip was. When will we be caught up? 113, Jesus says. Snatched away the saints. Glory to God. And what was that 75? That's got me intrigued now. That's how old Abraham was when he was called out of his land to the promised land. Snatched away the saints. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. This is page 285. The appointed time of the snatching away. Ain't that what we just saw? One, one, three. Snatching away the saints. Amen. All right. He was led. Sean was led to the appointed time of the snatching away. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding. Do y'all believe that? That every word of this Bible code is in wisdom. Directed by the Holy Spirit. Given to us to unseal the mystery in our hearts. So we could hide, thy word have I hidden my heart, thy Bible code have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you, that I'll have peace and joy. Heather's got that page up here, 285, the appointed time of the snatching away. He was led to the appointed time of the snatching away and in all matters of wisdom and understanding, just like Daniel. When you know Daniel, you know this is talking of Daniel and Sean, 75 missionaries, guys. That's what we're on. We're on a mission to tell everybody, get ready for the rapture. Get saved. And now that you're saved, folks, the rapture is at Pentecost. I love it, man. Thank you. I'm glad to see you, dude. I love your new picture on your count with the grapes and the wheat. That was pretty sweet. 
<clears throat> I'm glad you're throwing them days down there too, Savan. We're in the Savan, Tammuz, and Elul time right now, guys. On, on the three calendars of God. That's why we can be raptured on three different special dates in Scripture. And they all be one date, the Feast of Pentecost. He was led to the appointed time of the snatching away in all matters of wisdom and understanding. You will radiate light with God's splendor, Jesus' splendor, his, his, great, his glory. If Sean's going to do it, we're going to do it. God's no respecter of people, amen? But he's the one that told us all about this and when it's going to happen. And we praise God for the word of God. We praise God for the man of God bringing us the word. The image is in it, man. And remember, uh, Jesus radiated light with splendor. He did that on the Mount of Transfiguration and at his resurrection. Remember that the Shroud of Turin? The image is in it. The receipt, the proof is there. Since he rose from the dead, we're going to rise from the dead. There's a bunch of wisdom up in that and understanding if you'll come to know these things. Jehovah, Jesus, Jubilee. Today's Jubilee, guys. Today is the Jubilee. That's the one mentioned. There's only one 50-day count mentioned in Leviticus when God was setting out his calendar. Now, we know that the others are important because God refers to them as his dates and people had forgotten them. The, the mystery, other 50 Jubilee, the other 50 Jubilee, and the six-day wood count. God wants that counted. God wants that known. But what we originally knew from Moses was just the first 50-day count, Jubilee. And that's where we are today. Jehovah, Yeshua, Jubilee, the blessed hope and Sean Mitchell's amazement by revelation. He's so amazed every time he sees this stuff. God reveals things to him, things that he knows many times, but boom, there it is, right there in writing right next to his name. That's some revelation, isn't it? The righteous one is delivered out of trouble at the rapture. None of us will be harmed due to God's wrath and his judgments and woe and that misty wall of water coming in. Mountain of water. We won't even be bothered by that. Let's read all that again. We'll check out some verses. He was led to the appointed time of the snatching away in all manners of wisdom and understanding. You will radiate light with his splendor. Just like he did on the Mount of Transfiguration, just like he did at the resurrection. And because of his resurrection, we live in resurrection power and then will finally, ultimately be raised into resurrected bodies, glorified bodies. And we will radiate the light of his splendor. The image is in it. Jehovah Yeshua Jubilee. The blessed hope, Feast of Weeks, the blessed hope and Sean Mitchell's amazement by revelation. When he found this out, he loved it. Everybody else talking, no, no, it's Trump, it's Trump, it's Trump, it's Trump, it's, and they think Trumpets has already gone. They're like, Ew. I've been looking all over for Barry Ock, can't find that scumbag. Hmm. The righteous one is delivered out of his trouble. Don't we praise God for that? Hallelujah. Glorious Lord. All right, this verse right here is Psalm 27, 5. Hmm. 27, 5, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 19 and 14 with the numbers. Psalm is 19 and then the numbers together are 14. We're all talking about rapture. Why don't we just go ahead and say that? What does this say? For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, heaven. Those secret cubbies till the indignation be overpassed. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up on a rock. Solid foundation. No sand, no water. Praise God, man. Hey, what's those numbers? 15 and 58. 15,058. He was led to the appointed time. Hmm. 15 is what? Sacrifice? 15 is sacrifice and 58 is what? Um, and that is a pictographic. The pin, this is the one that had the cross with the serpent going around it. Okay. Uh, we don't have George here to show that to us, but that's it. All right. Let's look at this next one. 287. 287. Sean Mitchell to clarify. Oh, I, I praise God for you regulars. You've come to understand that you find clarity from the mystery of the unknown 
and you have clarity in the mystery of now it's known, the mystery of the, the heart of God that very few knows about. And God reveals it to you every time we get a new code come out, man. God clarifies. Sean Mitchell to clarify. Okay, what do we got here? I seen something pop up. Uh, 58 is the worldly life. Aren't you thankful to be leaving that one? 15, 555, 5, 15, sacrifice. And we have sacrificed here in this world, and we're about to leave this worldly life in a rapture. Feast of weeks, rapture. Praise God. Thank you. Okay, Sean Mitchell to clarify. Page 287. My son is a vapor. Right now he's human. He, he has the capability to die. God promised him that he won't. Some days he feels like he's dying. Today was one of those. Pray for our brother. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Worldly life. Hallelujah. Amen, guys. I appreciate your helping me out. My son is a vapor. The power was known. And this is not talking about Jesus. This is talking Jesus talking about his son, Sean. Okay. My son is a vapor. The power was known. Sean Mitchell made sure to clarify everything to us. And, and it's true about Jesus. Jesus, he, he was fleshly. He could be killed and he was killed. He was a vapor. And he came to life through the resurrection. The power was known in his resurrection. Okay? But we don't have a capital S here. We have a small s. And that would refer to Sean. My son is a vapor, just like Jesus. And we're going to be resurrected in glory and power, just like Jesus. All of us. Glorified. Just like Jesus, man. Up on the mountain. Amen? Don't touch me, Mary. I've not yet gone to the mountain. And been glorified. And we, just like him, we're going to go to the mountain and be glorified. Hallelujah. Aren't you thankful for the life hidden in Christ Jesus? Give me him and shut out everything else. Get rid of everything else. Choke it out. Let it die. That worldly life. Sean Mitchell made sure to clarify, but who is awake with the menorah for you in the resurrection? Who is awake? Who, who is saved? And who's going to be resurrected? The dead first and then the living on the fourth flame, the fourth stem of the menorah. The main branch. Who's going to do that? Is that? Are you going to be part of that? Only the saved. Only those with life in them. Only those who were dead in our trespasses and sins. And God made us alive, man. And we went from being just a vapor to being eternal beings. Eternal life. The moment you believed. Hallelujah. Glory to God, man. Let's see what verses are up in here, man. Looks like a couple. James 4.14. Uh, Sean, had, his note here is the pre-tribulation rapture teaching is the only correct one. The Holy Spirit awakened me to the truth of his lamp. The Holy Spirit awakened him. The Holy Spirit has awakened us who believe. And now it's documented forever. Sean says, I will continue my work until Jesus comes. Boy, wouldn't it be great if it was tonight? That means New York will go missing. The whole roster of the Dodgers and the Yankees will be gone. I'm cool with that. Just get us out of here, Lord. Amen. Watch your life. It's just a vapor that appears for a short time and then vanishes away. Paul's talking, 2 Corinthians 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 3, and 4. I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knows. Now that he was caught up into paradise, he was speaking of himself. In a vision, God caught him up and he didn't know if he was caught up in his body. It seemed like it or if it was just a spirit, but it sure seemed like his body. Remember, your spirit in heaven is a body. We don't need this old thing up there. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 The day Jesus was crucified, give us life. Hmm, very interesting. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with the dead in the clouds who are now alive. He resurrects the dead. Boom, they get a head start. We join them. In the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever, forever, be with the Lord. I'm very cool with that and we can start that tonight, Lord. Come up hither. I'm listening for the call, man. Amen. Lord, we believe. All right. Let's look at the next one. This is page 288. 288. 28. Uh, you reckon that every one of these have been page 28 tonight? 28, 28, 28, 1, 28, 2, 28, 3, 28, 4, 28, 5, 28, 6, 28, 7, and now 28, 8. Pretty cool, Lord. Thank you for that. God wants this day marked so big, and it's marked. And it's been marked in your heart. It's been marked in your participation. 
Praise God for you, the faithful man. All right. 288. We will witness living forever, immortality. We will witness in our own personal selves the ability to never die, never hunger, never thirst, never have a bad day again. Tonight would be a great start for that. Translation. We will witness immortality. Sean Mitchell, evaluate the lamp of the feast. Command. Sean Mitchell, evaluate the lamp of the feast. Look at all seven of those. Tell me what you see. And Jehovah said, he will descend from heaven. Jesus is going to descend from heaven to the clouds. With a shout, the Lamb's voice thus, Jehovah, the Father of glory. And Sean searched and he was given understanding and wisdom to know and a wonderful faith to believe. And he said, Pentecost, fourth flame. That's when all this is going to happen. We will witness immortality. Sean Mitchell, evaluate the lamp of the feasts. And Jehovah said, we will descend and the Lamb's voice thus, Jehovah, the Father of glory. What's the verse right here? Deuteronomy 16, 10. And thou shalt keep the feast of weeks unto the Lord thy God with a tribute of a free will offering. And that was, is what marked the Christian church. Free will offering, free, free will offering. He said, man, uh, these people up here, where was it, guys? Um, Macedonia. These Macedonia folks are such wonderful blessers. And they have blessed the church down there at Jerusalem. They have given and given a free will offering, free will love. They've always taken care of me when I'm up there. But I want you guys to know that I'm bringing my tent making stuff. And I will be building tents while I'm up there this time. Hey, Amen. Ain't that cool? So these people had a, a free will heart to give. Just like they did for when they were building the tabernacle in Moses' day. Moses had to tell them, stop bringing. Okay, we got enough. Hold the phone, dude. We got enough. And then... Solomon did the same thing. He gathered and his, his David was the one who had the vision for that and was getting all the gold and everything together. Ivory. And so praise God. Praise God. Second Chronicles 30 and verse 15. There's that 30 number again. We're on day 30 of 50. Second Chronicles 14. It's the 14th book. Rapture 30. 15 is 555 sacrifice. Then they killed the Passover. That's sacrifice, isn't it? I love how these numbers just work together. Then they killed the Passover. That's Jesus. On the 14th day of the second month, that was second Passover, God offers a second chance. You know what that's a picture of, guys? Everybody who missed the rapture, God's going to give them a second chance to be saved. That's why Sean's coming back for that second Passover. The second opportunity. Aren't you thankful God gave... Jonah, a second off offering. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, praise God for that second time. The Lord comes back to us when we were stupid, man. And he says, no, really, I still want you. Come on, come on. Don't forget earlier, 28, yeah, 24-7. That was tonight's Bible code earlier. 28, 24-7. Yeah, thank you, sister. Uh, so yeah, the second month. And the priests and the Levites were ashamed. They sanctified themselves. That's what's, that, do you picture this? These are the Levites who were left behind and were absolutely ashamed that they didn't see Jesus in all of that, that they spit on him, laughed on him, laughed at him, and taught their congregations wickedly. Listen to this verse in the light of Sean coming back and giving them God giving them a second opportunity. Yeshua. Then they killed the Passover on the 14th day of the second month. And the priests and the Levites were ashamed and they sanctified themselves. That's the one Sean's going to be teaching, the Bible code. And they brought in burnt offerings into the house of the Lord. They're going to get it the second time. Psalm 107, 13. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he saved them in their distresses. They're going to know that we knew the mystery of God and the rapture was at the Feast of Pentecost. Shavuot, we had all these counts. We got this Bible study and all those posts you put up for our day counts. And they're going to know it was there. It was available. World Wide Web. Don't put this on friends, guys. Don't set your account to friends. You set it on world. You let the world see this thing. And they're going to know it was all there right in front of our face, man. And we blew that one.
and they will witness immortality. They're going to see us come back. They're going to be in their human bodies, those that survive. And they're going to see us come back, the bride of Christ, in our glorified bodies, and they will witness immortality. Praise God. Let's look at one more, and we'll call it a night. We'll call it a rapture. I'll see you in heaven. What do you say? Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? Page 290. 29. Today's the 29th. Right now it's the 29th in most places in the entire world. Are you kidding me? How did this happen? I don't know. We're just cruising along like we do. 29. You see that? 290? 29? God's awesome. We, that 29 has always popped up, right? Elul 29. September 29, God's birthday, Jesus' birthday, 29, 29, and here we are again, 29th. You don't think today's a big day, 28th into the 29th, when God was pointing from Calvary, from the crucifixion to the 28th, October 28th? My goodness, that 128, that 128. Remember what time we got our phone calls here in the United States? It's supposed to have been 130. And they came to 230 Eastern, 130 Central, and they came in at 128. 128. Pointing to now, pointing to this date. The rapture is inside an ark, the cross of Jesus Christ. Jesus is that ark. If you're in Christ Jesus, your faith is in him and nothing else. Woo, no, 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 nothing else. Just Jesus. You're in the ark. And you're the one who gets raptured. All those who believe by faith in Jesus Christ. Here's what the translation says. When the host of light is gone, that's when the rapture happens and there's no more lit up Christians here, spirit-filled believers. Guys, that's going to be dark, dude. Oh. When the host of light is gone, God judges by trial and testing. The rapture is inside the ark. And we're telling you on this side, we pray you'll believe. You got now to believe. Believe now. Today's the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Please believe. When the host of light is gone, God judges by trial and testing. The rapture is inside the ark, and that is just the red letters. Let's see what their skip is. I'm excited to see this number. 54, 31, negative. 9, 12, 13, the number 13. 4, which is 4, the glory door, right? The rapture door, the fourth flame, the fourth man in the flame, the fourth feast. Amen. This total comes to 4. Let's see what that verse says. Uh, first of all, let's hear what Sean says. He says, here's another code that proves pre-tribulation rapture irrefutably. God destroys all the other false teachings with this code. The word rapture may not be in the bi biblical plain text, but it is encoded. We are the host of light that is leaving. And then God will judge the world by trial and testing. This ark, like the ark of the covenant, is... Encoded word, verified. The word of God is the Ark of the Covenant, the Ark of Testimony. Remember, the two tables of stone leaned right against the Ark of the Covenant. They were too big to fit inside the Ark of the Covenant, but they leaned right there along with the pot of manna and Aaron's rod that budded. Those were inside the Ark. This Ark and the spelling, like the Ark of the Covenant, is encoded word, verifies the correct interpretation of his written word. Glory to God. God puts his stamp of approval, his mark on Sean Mitchell, and these Bible codes, Bible codes unsealed. Glory to God, be saved today. Believe, rapture is in the Bible. And this code takes uh, shape of the fourth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the Dalit, which means door. And here's the verse, 1 Corinthians 15, 12. Now, if Christ Jesus be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there's no resurrection of the dead? And a lot of the Jews say that. They, they, they believe, guys, Kabbalah teaches reincarnation. And all these codes are going to get it right. It's appointed unto man once to die. And after that, the judgment. You know, Cush was asking that question the other night about uh, whatever happened to without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness. Well, these people don't know that verse because it's in Hebrews 9.27. And they won't believe Hebrews. And they won't believe Jesus. And because they were safe for the 70 years in Babylon without bloodshed, God kind of overlooks it and winks. That's what they think is going on now. And so they don't need Jesus. And they're going to find out you're not reincarnated. You die once and you better get saved by the blood of Jesus through faith alone in Jesus Christ alone or you're going to hell. And they're going to recognize all these things, all these truths. Amen. Glory to God. All glory to God. Amen, guys. I love you. Why don't we pray? 
I appreciate your being here tonight. I pray this has edified you, encouraged you, and we just left another stamp, another marker of proof that God wants the Jews saved and everybody saved. And everybody who's not saved, you could have been saved. And you could have gotten on the boat. You could have entered Jesus Christ. You could have known his word, his covenant, the Ark of the Covenant. You could have known these things had you paid attention and didn't care about the Yankees. But we thank God for that second Passover. God's going to give you another chance, all you who didn't die the first night. And these preachers are going to come along, and we urge you to hearken quickly. Amen. Let's pray. Papa, we love you. Thank you for the second chance you've given all of us. And uh, I pray that these people who were spared that night, who are not targets of your, of your arrows, they live through it. I pray they'll get the gospel quickly and believe and not be deceived by the aliens and Obama and the liars, the Vatican, the Muslims. Lord, bring them all out. All these people I've named, I pray you'll bring millions out of each of these groups to be saved quickly. And we just praise you. We glorify your name. I thank you for this small little flock of believers. Bless them richly, Lord, with your word as we hide your word in covenant in our hearts. Thank you for opening up the mystery to us as we hide the mystery in our hearts, the opened mystery, the revealed mystery. Thank you for Brother Sean. Bless him. Bless him. Every minute, every day as we wind up toward come seeing you, I pray you'll help his health. I pray you'll help his health, Lord. Keep him healthy today, tomorrow, and everybody here. May we just improve in our health, improve in our knowledge, our stamina of the ways of the Lord, the way of the cross, the, the blood our belief, our faith alone in you. And I pray for those who need your second Passover that they will come to believe quickly. We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, Amen guys. Love you. Praise God. We all know the truth here and believe. Have our faith in the promises. Amen. That's a wonderful blessing, a wonderful Opportunity to clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Psalm 47, 1. Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of praise. Heather says, Amen in Jesus' name. Gordy, Amen. David, Amen. Praise God Almighty. Brother Adrian, Amen. God bless everyone. See you up. Yeah, we'll see you up there. Let's go to now, man. What do you say? Abba, up. Carlos, Amen. Maranatha, Brother Irwin and Yolanda, Amen, Amen. Love you too. Kim, Amen. Thank you for drawing us to see the book of Mitchell. Amen, Lord. Thank you. Sister Aaron says, Amen. Hey, thank you all for the help tonight. I love those numbers. I, I like it being solidified like that because the numbers tell the truth. Amen. The absolute truth. I love you guys. By His grace, we'll see you at the 726 tonight. I love you. God bless. See you then.